continuing to add some finer details to the foreground to really bring that foreground to the viewer. Uh, typically in those paintings you'll see that the foreground is the, uh, the area with the greatest contrast and the most detail and as you go further back the details become far less discernible and you get this nice kind of hazy kind of everything flows together look especially in watercolors.
So for those of you who are just getting into watercolor painting, one of the best ways to create some very interesting shapes or uh, movements with the paint is just to use your fingers. It's, it's one of the most convenient and close by tools that you have on you and it's great especially for nice little quick motions if you're trying to make some grass or shadows and um, yeah your fingers might get a little painted up but you wear it kind of like a badge of honor as an artist to have nice red or purple fingertips. Another thing that I like to do during the process of painting is to just stop every now and again and take a picture of what I've made so far. It can help get a better perspective of the overall painting and you'll see some areas that you want to change or otherwise alter that you don't see when you're just staring at the painting in the same way. So if you're just standing in front of the painting staring at it, you're not going to notice the things you, you will if you just take a step back or you take a picture or if your board is not too heavy you can even take the painting and flip it upside down so you will be able to better see the things that you'll regret having not seen later on.
So oftentimes I'll think, boy, this painting looks finished, and then I'll take the tape off and leave it be for, you know, half hour, hour, day, come back to it, and then realize, oh goodness, I am not done. There's so much more I need to do. And that happens probably like every other painting I make. I'm glad it happens though, because then I actually can go back and fix things before, you know, they're sent off to the world. So that's exactly what happened with this painting. I looked at it and to some, and maybe, maybe other people will think it was finished, but uh, to me, I came back and looked at it and thought, oh my, there's just something missing. So I went and changed it and now I'm, I'm very much so happier with how the painting turned out once I made the changes.
So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if there are any other types of paintings you guys want to see, let me know. I'll try to keep recording as I paint. Sometimes I forget to and then I'll be halfway through painting and it's kind of like, well, what's even the point? Uh, if you guys have any, any other questions, um, feel free to message me or send me a uh, message on Reddit or through YouTube or whatever. Sometimes it might take me a while to get back to people because I do have quite a few classes I have to attend and study and whatnot, all that good stuff being a student. Uh, but I'll do my best to try to get back to people. It just might take me a little while sometimes. So please bear with me if you don't hear back from me for a few days. Um, it's not intentional. Um, so yeah, thank you. And I hope whoever you are, whatever you're doing, you have a great day. Bye-bye.